Timothy Newton's request to be granted bond. News 2 reporter Brendan Ponton explains where the case goes from here. Newton's wife and mother say they are standing by him and testified during the hearing this morning, but it was not enough to convince the judge to grant him a bond. Timothy Newton walked into court Friday morning in an orange jumpsuit and handcuffs. The Chesapeake police officer has been suspended from the force after he was charged with 24 counts of possession of child porn. During the court appearance, Newton sought to be released from jail on bond while his case plays out. The prosecution opposed bond, saying the investigation is ongoing, adding investigators continue to discover more child porn as well as bestiality on his devices. The court documents detail very graphic images investigators say he had. We're not talking about just images of a kid in a bathtub or things that could be taken out of context, Your Honor. These are graphic images. Prosecutors also say the allegations stem from an accusation Newton sexually assaulted a child. He's not currently charged with that, but the prosecutor said charges are, quote, forthcoming. What we're asking is for you to deny bond because the community is not safe. Newton's attorney is well-known defense attorney James Broccoletti. He argued Newton is not a flight risk and could stay with his mom who does not live with children and could turn off the connection to the Internet. But the judge ruled against Newton, saying he's, quote, a significant danger to the community. After court, Broccoletti said he wants to hear more of the evidence. We obviously plan to plead not guilty and proceed with the matter. We haven't received any evidence and any discovery. Uh, he's presumed to be innocent. We're relying upon that presumption, and he's obviously going to be moving forward with uh, defending the case. As of now, Newton is due back in court in March. In Chesapeake, Brendan Ponton, News 3. Hey, everyone. Today I'm diving into a deeply troubling and important topic. The 2024 scandal involving police officers caught in a child pornography ring. So how did we get here? It all started with an extensive investigation by federal authorities. Over the past year, they uncovered a network operating across multiple states involving not just civilians, but also individuals sworn to uphold the law. Now, when we think of police officers, we think of protectors, people who put their lives on the line to keep us safe. But in this dark twist, some officers wound on the other side of the line. The investigation revealed that these officers used their positions of power to hide their heinous activities, exploiting the trust placed in them by the community. Why did these officers do it? Well, that's a complex question. Some were driven by personal demons, others by a deep-seated sense of invulnerability, thinking their badges shielded them from justice. This scandal has shaken public confidence and raised serious questions about oversight accountability within police forces. Authorities have already arrested several officers and more arrests are expected as the investigation continues. The public outcry has been massive, with many demanding thorough reform and stricter screening processes for law enforcement personnel. This is just about punishing the guilty. It's about understanding how such a breach of trust could happen and ensuring it never happens again. It's about protecting the most vulnerable among us and holding accountable those who exploit their power for nefarious purposes. In the wake of this scandal, communities are coming together to demand transparency and justice. It's a painful reminder that vigilance is necessary, even when it comes to those who are supposed to be our protectors. So what can we do? Stay informed, stay involved, and keep pushing for the changes that ensure our police forces are trustworthy and accountable. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please like and share. And remember, awareness is the first step towards change. Stay safe and stay vigilant.